Harvest Gathering. We are Joe Sarah Perry and the La Fondas, and we're here in my backyard, and we're going to play some country music. And um, all right, and we're going to start off. And oh, and just to let you know, we just disturbed a hornet's nest. So uh, we think they're murder hornets. And so if you see us running <laughs> crazy, uh, or, yeah, so it, it could happen. So it's a very dangerous set, very dangerous set. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is COVID related song. Am I even on here, baby? It's in the key of B minor. It's the key of coronavirus. Are you on, honey? Do we need to come up? No, it's. I might have turned it way down. Go ahead, try. All right. Okay, so uh, this here, this is a, a song inspired by the coronavirus. I turned it off. All right, this is called. 
called A Glorious Better Day, because I think, even though stuff is really, really sucking, we all know it's been really sucking, but sometimes it has to, to wake people up, because apparently we're not very, very smart as a species. We're kind of adolescent, I think. And if you can't get there through love, you got to get there through horror. Until you can get there through love. So, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Mondays. These times are never my fun days. Don't need to load it my gun days. Don't feel like waiting on the wrong days. Don't dare to die in the sickness. These times are only a litmus. Stay sane, 
Thank you. I almost remembered the lyrics. All right, we're going to have Miss Lindsay McCall do a Lefty Frizzell song. Everyone, this is Miss Lindsay McCaw. She's wearing her pretty new dress. She's all ready to scoop up some ice cream, we think. do a song. This is a song that that Johnny and I and our friend Tom Megley wrote together one night. Tom is running the cameras here now. Tom is our, our stage manager. So this is a song. It's 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 a song about the dark side, the dark side of drinking. Nah, and it's a song about kind of a dysfunctional relationship. Maybe maybe I don't know. They all go to We were entirely sober when we wrote this, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Well, sober for you. One, two, three, one. Yeah. 
Jackson there. We're, we're non-binary here. We're, we're, we're non-gender. We're, we're just, yes, okay. So we're going to do a song. Uh, this is a song, this is a song about uh, Stuart, our, our drummer. Wait, Stuart. This is Stuart Tucker, every, everyone on the drums. This is a song about his hometown. Well, it's not his hometown, it's his current town. It's a lovely town of Hamtramck. Yeah. It's a town that is entirely, entirely surrounded by the city of Detroit. And there's a bar there where a lot of songwriters come and play called the Ghost Light. A lot of Detroit songwriters come and try out some new stuff. And this is a little song about, well, inspired by the Ghost Light. It's called the Ham Tram Shimmy. Okay. 
so glad that they're doing this this year it's not quite the same it's not quite the same as being at harvest gathering but it's keeping us off the streets it is keeping us off the streets <laughs> All right, and this is a song. This was a, a song inspired by my 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 first. Well, it's not my first month because I was sick my first month of Corona. But right after I got better, I had a couple of days of just feeling good and doing all kinds of chores and cleaning up stuff. And then I tripped over my bird and broke my wrist. So this is a this this is a song I'm. Still getting it back, but this is a song that I wrote in honor of my bird. His name is Merle. And this is called Hey Merle. Uh, whisperer. Now he got stung right before he started filming this. Mr. Jason Oberleeson. All right. Yeah. And I'm Joe. Thank you. Hey, awesome. Yeah. Happy harvest. Awesome. At home. <laughs> 